welcome to tips training and certification online training and certification learn anytime anywhere the second module of training on six sigma green belt is six sigma defined phase the objective of the defined phase is identification and selection of projects preparing the project charter the various execution steps involved in the defined phase are to identify opportunities for the improvement to carry out survey for gathering the voice of customer or business interpret this in terms of critical to quality or critical to business identify the projects based on ctqs prioritize these project ideas using the project matrix identify the sponsor for the project estimate the savings from the project finalize the project charter and obtain the approval from the management for the charter the various tools and techniques which are used in the defined phase include the market process or business survey methods brainstorming the voice of customer how to gather them critical to quality how to define ctqs conversion of voice of customer to ctqs project selection matrix for the prioritization of the projects and finally preparation of the project. right selection of project is very important for six sigma because it will decide whether the project will be successful or not and from that point of view we have to consider certain factors such as impact on customers and organizational effectiveness the probability of success of the project fitting the project to the strategy and competitive advantage and the financial returns in terms of the cost which will be achieved after carrying out the six sigma project. once you list down the various project ideas these are required to be prioritized using the project matrix in this slide we are seeing a project matrix and based on the ratings which are given by the various experts the total score is calculated and the project with the highest score that is in this case it upgrade process integration as a six sigma project is selected voice of the customer is important in selection of the project and the voice of the customer can be collected through the various modes like the comment cards formal surveys focus group meetings direct customer contact field intelligence complaint analysis and internet monitoring another important aspect in the defined phase is the critical to quality that is ctq and ctq is nothing but what the customer want from the product services or the process output the ctqs must be defined in specific measurable and actionable terms this is an example of conversion of voice of customer to the ctq for example voice of customer is it takes too long to get my project done while the ctq for the same is time for submission of application to receiving the approval for the project ctqs needs to be smart that is specific measurable actionable realistic and time bound the project charter is prepared based on the ctqs the project charter describes the bounds and deliverables of the project it is an agreement between the team and the management regarding the project and is a broad plan for the project the project charter needs to be approved by the management and financial officer before starting the project while preparing the project charter five major elements needs to be considered one is the problem statement or the goal statement second is estimated business opportunity third is the project scope 
because you have to carry out the project within the specified time. The milestones or the project plan, a detailed plan with key steps and dates, and the team roles and responsibilities. This is an example of a problem statement in the project chapter. Production of ABC line of XYZ plant is only 50 ton per month, although there is a consistent demand of 90 ton per month. This is resulting a loss to the bottom line by rupees 2 crore every year. Now in this case you can find that what, where, opportunities, what it impacts, how much impact is there, when it has occurred are being described. This is an example of a Six Sigma charter wherein the project number, start, date, expected, close date, the team, project title, background and reasons for selecting the project, scope of the project, aim of the project, benefits, characteristics of output of projects such as CTQ, measures and the defect definition, source of the project, the benefits which are resulting direct and indirect and at what frequency the team will be meeting, these are specified. At the end, let's take a review of the defined phase. A defined phase should ensure that the team has reached agreement on and has clearly defined the problem or opportunity to address. The project charter is developed and agreed on. The team understands the strategic and financial impact of the project. The team agrees that the project can be completed successfully. A project plan and timeline has been developed to guide the entire Six Sigma project and documented. Thank you.